In this short demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to associate a contact with multiple accounts. This particular enhancement was released in the Summer 16 version, and it's available for the following additions. Contact Manager, Group, Professional, Enterprise, Performance, and Unlimited. And it's available for Salesforce Classic, Lightning, and also the Salesforce One application. As you can see here on my screen, we have the contacts object, and we have Mr. John Doe. Mr. John Doe is listed as the direct contact for Higher University, but he is also listed as the indirect contact for ABC Scholarship Organization. In order for your sales reps to see this, there are a few items that need to be set up by the system administrator. To do this, we'll start out by going into Setup, and then we will go into Account Settings. Once we move into Account Settings, you'll notice that there is a new option that has opened up, Allow Users to Relate a Contact to Multiple Accounts. I've already gone ahead and checked this box, as it does take a little bit of time depending on the amount of data in your org. Salesforce will notify you via email once the conversion is complete. Two items that you will need to determine within your organization are delete an account and replace the primary account. Once you've determined those two items, go ahead and select your choice, click Save, and then next you want to change the uh, sales rep's profile. So we'll go into Profiles, under Manage Users, and right here we have the Custom Sales Profile. On this screen, we want to make sure that we are changing the customized application as well as the view setup and configuration. So we want to make sure that both those items are checkmarked. The first one right here is Customize Application. And the second one right here is View Setup and Configuration. Once those items are checked, go back up and click Save. And then the next item we need to tackle is the page layout. The page layout you will need to change for both the contacts and the account layout. First we'll start with the account layout. And we're going to go ahead and select the sales layout and edit. And I've already gone ahead and modified the page to save some time. But you'll click on Related List. And once you get to Related List, you'll go to Related Contacts and drag this down to wherever you feel that it should be on the page. Once that's on the page, then you'll click on Save. The next layout you're going to go to is the contacts page layout. On this page, you're actually going to do two items. Again, you're going to go into the sales layout. Again, you're going to go to the related list. And this time, you're going to drag down related accounts. And right here, I've already drug it down on the page. And once you have it on the page, you're going to click on the wrench to bring up the properties. And then sort through to find direct and bring it over to the selected fields. And once you have it over here, click OK. And then you are done. Now I'm going to go ahead and log in as one of our users, George Watson. So you can see what he sees when he logs in. Again, we're going to take a look at John Doe. Again, we see here Higher University, he's the direct. ABC Scholarship Organization, he is the indirect. So we're going to go ahead and add a contact. And we're going to go ahead and add Justin Wheeler. Justin Wheeler is an IT consultant for XYZ Software, but he also provides 
consultant support for Boards Unlimited. So we want to provide Justin Wheeler as the direct contact for XYZ software, and he's going to be the indirect contact for Boards Unlimited. So we're going to go ahead and go into XYZ software, and we're going to add Justin as the IT consultant and it's going to be primary and we're going to save. And then we're going to go into Boards Unlimited and we are going to add him here as well. And here he is just consultant. And he is the primary at this account as well. Now we want to add a relationship because we are at Boards Unlimited right now. And so we are going to select XYZ software and save. And if we scroll down, we'll see that he is the direct contact at Boards Unlimited and the indirect contact at XYZ software. So now we want to go over to XYZ software and he is listed here as well and we have him listed as the consultant for Boards Unlimited and the IT consultant at XYZ. But we do want to modify him at XYZ because he is the primary here. So we want to edit, um, oops, wrong screen. We want to edit as he is the primary. So he is listed as the primary, so we want to save him. So then if we go into his contact information, go in and pull Justin Wheeler up. And we show him as the direct at Boards Unlimited and the indirect at XYZ software. Now let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like in the Lightning experience. And once we get over to Lightning, we're going to go ahead and oops, there we go, contact go into our contacts list view and click on Justin Wheeler. And once it's done populating, we see that he is the direct contact at Boards Unlimited and the indirect at XYZ Software. So that's what it looks like in the Lightning experience. And that is it for setting up the multiple accounts and associated contacts.